Welcome to NTS Tire Supply. We're here to help drive your farm forward. I'm Rob Hillesheim, and today we're here with this 412R sprayer with an LSW 680 flotation tire, equipped with a central tire inflation system brought to you by PTG. So with the central tire inflation system, it allows us to manipulate tire pressures and set optimal pressure for going down the road, and then lower that pressure down into the field. What that does is that creates this tire to offer flexibility in the sidewall, giving us a larger footprint, which is going to allow us to roll over the ground instead of want to push through it. So when we can inflate this tire to the highest pressure to go on the road, it's going to offer less rolling resistance, which is going to offer better handling, better fuel economy, and double the life of the tire itself. Today we're going to demonstrate the footprint from high pressure to go down the road to low pressure to give you a visual effect of actually how much more tread we're gaining by lowering that pressure down for the field. So currently this tire is set at 35 PSI, which is the optimal pressure to be going down the road on this 680 LSW. We're going to take the bag of flour and do the flour footprint test. We're going to spread the flour around the inside of the tire. Once we let the air out, it's going to show that optimal footprint from high to low pressures. So currently we're at a 19 inch footprint, otherwise known as a contact patch on the ground. The other thing to note is also the width of our contact patch, which is currently 23 inches. Now we're gonna let the air pressure out of the tires. We're gonna go down to optimal field pressure and we're gonna repeat this process. Okay, we're gonna measure the footprint on the field pressures. So here we have the entire width of that tire, which is 24 inches and 29 inches in length. What's really interesting on high pressures, you'll see on the outside of this, the flower is actually curved up. You can see that, you know, it's sucking the outside of that tire up into the sidewall. Where on the deflated, the field side of it, all of that is straight down, it's pushed down. So the entire width of that tire is making contact. The benefit of this type of footprint out in the field is the fact that we're utilizing every square inch of that footprint that that tire can give us. At lower pressures, it's flattening that footprint out both lengthwise and widthwise. Um, again, softer tires allowing us to roll over the ground, not want to push through it like an overinflated tire is going to do. So roading, now what we're doing is we're sucking that tire up. We're going to max pressure. So we're only having a small part of that tire actually making contact with the road. So we're gonna get double the life out of our tire investment. We're gonna have less rolling resistance, which means that the sprayer or that piece of equipment's not gonna have to work nearly as hard to travel down the road and fuel efficiency. So we get asked a lot of questions all the time as far as these lines that come out over the tire and how they work and how rugged they are and how is this gonna work in late in-season spraying. A couple different options when we do this is number one, this is a two-line system, which means there's no pressure on these airlines. When you're out in the field and you're spraying, it's as simple as coming out and unhooking the airlines and strapping them up on top. Then it's gonna be just the same as you would be without central tire inflation on there. The other option has, depending on how tall your corn is, to leave these lines on. When they're plugged in, like I showed you, they're very rugged. They don't stick out any more than just a couple inches from the tire. It's not gonna knock your plant over. It's not gonna dislodge the root system. It's simply gonna make that plant flex back and flex forward. One last common question that we receive on sprayer such as tire inflation systems is, is the compressor on my sprayer large enough to run the inflation system? A lot of these John Deere sprayers, Hagee sprayers, case sprayers already come with onboard compressors on, but what we found is no. The majority of the compressors that come on these uh, sprayers already are between that 10 to 16 CFM size. We're not gonna be able to handle or you won't be happy enough as an operator in the time it's gonna take to take these tires from field pressure up to road pressure. PTG does offer a compressor strictly for planters and for sprayers. It's a 26 CFM compressor. It's called the K500. So on this 412R sprayer, here we mounted the compressor. It's hidden very well. It's right behind the solution tank, between the solution tank and the booms. 
We have it tied in hydraulically to the system of the sprayer itself. The goal is always going to be between that three to six minute inflation time. Anytime we go from field to road, you don't want to overstress that compressor, overheat that compressor, and you don't want to be sitting at the end of the field waiting for your tires to inflate before you can move on to the next job. Depending on the tire size, um, that last half pass uh, prior to going to the headlands, folding your booms up, driving out to the field normally within that three to six minute range, you're ready to go down the road. So if you have questions about a central tire inflation system for your sprayer, please go to ntstiresupply.com slash CTIS and see how we can help you drive your farm forward.